the team behind this drone only needed two words to describe it. Epic scale. They chose to combine the payload capacity of large drones with the maneuverability of smaller ones, creating a kind of flying F1 race car. The drone is propelled by a 220 horsepower system that allows it to reach speeds of up to 87 miles per hour. There is a very simple explanation for the impressive size. The team had previously made racing drones, but only small ones, and it was difficult to keep track of the lead drone. Our selection continues with a vehicle from a French startup. For the time being, it is only a display vehicle, but the company has huge intentions. In 2025, the vehicle will be made public, although the entire hydrogen crossover was created in a virtual environment. The system will be connected to an integrated fuel tank and be able to power not only automobiles, but also generators, home power plants, and other things. There are two versions, one has an all-wheel drive system with 550 horsepower, and the other has a rear-wheel drive system with 300 horsepower. The combined cruising range of both models is 497 miles. In Europe, the cost will be 6,900 euros. Many nations struggle with the issue of energy conservation. The Spanish government opted to turn off building and store lighting after 10 p.m., while the French government has urged its citizens to use less electricity. U.S. engineers have developed photovoltaic cells, which can convert practically any surface into a solar panel. The concept is similar to t-shirt designs. A screen-printed electrode was applied to a 3-micron thick substrate, which is much thinner than a human hair by American researchers, who then glued the electrode to a composite fabric. The resulting photo cell has a total power of 370 watts per 2.2 pounds. It is 100 times lighter than conventional solar panels. According to sobering United Nations data, there were 40 million more undernourished people in 2021, necessitating a variety of improvements for agriculture, one of which is on your screen. This is the first step toward displacing traditional irrigation, and all it requires is running a flexible hose and then poking holes in the appropriate places. With these inserts, water consumption will be between 1.8 and 2.1 gallons, and the hose is made of polyethylene and is 328 feet long. The name of this amazing garment is the pangolin, since the scales of the dress resembles the scales of the mammal. The scales are 3D printed, and the world's first 1024-channel brain-computer interface is responsible for the data transmission. The dress can read the wearer's brain waves, analyze them, and change the appearance based on a received data. The more brain activity, the more the scales move. This unusual dress was designed by nanotechnology experts and microchip production specialists. How much trash do we throw away every day? On average, 26 ounces per person. However, this varies greatly by country, and in some locations, it exceeds 10 pounds per person. New improvements in waste disposal and removal help us to not wallow in waste, while making garbage truck drivers' jobs easier and more enjoyable. The system is appropriate for above-ground and subterranean containers up to 176 cubic feet, and the boom can be mounted even on a tiny two-axle vehicle. A whole work cycle is 65 seconds long and only one person is required to control the process once the system's integrated rubbish collection is in place. 
garbage, removal costs can drop significantly. What comes next is a new advancement in robotics. Engineers have discovered a way to give robots fingers with a high precision sense of touch. These fingers can be used anywhere from manufacturing facilities to hospitals. So how does this American breakthrough work? Underneath the skin of the robotic finger, there is a layer of transparent silicon with LEDs and photodiodes that determine how the light is reflected. When the finger meets something, the skin deforms and the light is reflected. By evaluating the updated data, the system feels a variety of touches. In the past this would have been considered too complicated to analyze, but now there is advanced machine learning. So researchers are able to guess a lot of details from the force applied when touching to what exactly the robot is touching. The Wackiest Mode of Transportation Many websites have articles about this engineering marvel. The concept is straightforward. A propeller, a bicycle chain, two blades, and three wheels. The vehicle is propelled forward by the tailwind, and the wheel's rotation aids in propeller rotation. A YouTuber even wagered $10,000 on whether it was real or physically possible for a windmill to move downwind faster than the wind. It turned out that it could, so the loser, a physicist, had to write the winner a check. In addition, in 2012, a record was set when this vehicle moved 2.8 times faster than the wind speed at the time. Rain not only lowers the temperature, but also creates puddles, which are really dangerous to tires according to manufacturers. Fortunately, a UK company has already figured out how to fight water on the roads with a very simple method. They have made a super porous permeable concrete to show that it can absorb up to 1,050 gallons per 11 square feet in the first minute, and then up to 2,000 gallons per square foot after that. There is a problem though, for now this concrete is not suitable for sub-zero temperatures. However, the team is already working on this issue. Have you ever seen the inside of a granary? It's pretty dangerous in there. In the US alone, 7% of farmers suffer from lung disease as a result of breathing in fine particles. In addition, voids can form in the grain mass, and it can be very challenging to get a person out because there is so much resistance and no ejection force. An American company offers this robot for safe and effective work with the grain. It mixes and moves grain with the assistance of August. According to preliminary reports, the robot weighs approximately 26 pounds, has a two-hour battery life, and is operated remotely. The price will be about $5,000. Mono wheels are known to move slowly, but this is an exception. British inventor Kevin Scott entered the Guinness Book of World Records with one reaching speeds of up to 61.183 miles per hour. Consider also that Scott and his assistant worked on the incredible vehicle for two years, and they took another 12 months to ensure it met all the requirements to set the record. Now, let's go over some of the features. This marble has a 12 cubic inch cart engine, a specially constructed transmission, and an air suspension. It is roughly five feet in diameter, and weighs 187 pounds. The name, War Horse, is also appropriate for this vehicle. Next is an intriguing lighting option for both residential and commercial buildings. These systems, like sunflowers, always face the sun and transfer light using fiber optics. The standard version is made up of 36 lenses, a microprocessor, photo sensors, and a 10-watt motor. One digital sunflower can generate about 6,000 lumens when connected to a 33-feet cable. After accounting for all losses, the luminance output is about 3,700 lumens, 
which is sufficient to illuminate 323 to 430 square feet. The built-in filter will block out UV and infrared radiation. As such, it can be very useful. Experts have estimated that about 20% of the world's electricity is used just for artificial lighting. The prototype of a flexible paper-based battery is shown on the screens. But it is less interesting because it is not a work of contemporary art. It is only 0.02 inches thick and biodegradable. After a month in the soil it completely breaks down. Its efficiency is astounding. The team plans to develop unique electronic components powered by these batteries for use in a variety of products, including smart clothing, medicine, and gadgets. The 1.6 by 1.6 inches prototype can power a compact fan for about 45 minutes and is bendable, foldable, and can be cut into pieces if necessary.